Good morning, and I'm running a little bit late this morning. I honestly was working on another lesson that I'm recording uh, here in a little bit, and uh, just lost track of time. Next thing I know, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm running late. Sunrise has already happened, but there is a beautiful sunrise. Let me see if I can swing around here and get that for you. Ah, I bet that doesn't show up in the camera. It is a glorious sunrise. I hope that you are out here enjoying it, and ooh, it just got bright all of a sudden. I uh, see Mary's back on with me again this morning. Good to see you this morning, Mary. Uh, it's going to be an amazing day. And Jesse's on this morning, too. Everybody's up early on Monday, ready to get at it. Let's get right to the thought. Walking in sunlight, the section of the hymn that we're in today, remember, started off with shadows around me, uh, shadows above me. Never conceal my Savior and guide. He is the light, and him is no darkness, is what we talked about yesterday. And today, ever I'm walking close to his side. You know, there's lots of passages that talk about walking with Jesus. And of course, it must have been absolutely amazing for the apostles to walk with Jesus and the conversations that they must have had along the way. The two passages I've got picked out for today Psalm 1-1 is one of them. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. You know, who we walk with is important. And of course, we want to be walking with Jesus. We want to be walking with those who are going to help us on his way. So those Christians who are going to lift us up, that's the importance of a church family. Uh, it's impossible to get through this life on your own. Uh, I know that we've often talked about, I don't know how we will make it through life, through the challenges, through the difficulties, through the good times, without a church family. So whoever you walk with, and as the passage talks about, stop with, stand with, and sit with, uh, is important. Then John 8, 12, Jesus talking, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that's a perfect verse for what we're doing here. Talking about walking in sunlight, you can see it there over my shoulder. Constantly walking with Jesus. You know, these walks in the morning, uh, for me, usually when I'm not doing this Facebook Live thing, help me to think about all the creation that's, that's around. This morning, the birds are singing. Uh, everything seems pretty happy. Everything looks fresh and new. It's a great reminder that we have a new day uh, to do good. Most of you who know me know that I spent just over five months walking on the Appalachian Trail. For me, that was, that was something that helped me to understand better uh, my faith because I was constantly surrounded by God's creation. 2,168 miles of being in God's creation really, for me, helped to build and establish my relationship with God. My parents laid that foundation. All the folks who helped me learn as I was growing up really helped to establish that. But being, walking in creation helped me. And these mornings are a great reminder. I hope that you find something that helps you to remember, to reflect on God's creation. Maybe it's working in the garden. I see that Pam popped on. Good morning, Pam. And I know that Pam and Robert have been busy working in the garden. And for me, seeing that creation helps me remember God. Maybe it's spending time with your family. Obviously, it's spending time in the Word. You know, when we walk in the Word, that's where the light comes from. And that's what we're supposed to be busy doing. We've got a great opportunity. I hope that you have a great week. I hope that you have a happy Monday and you share God's blessings with those around you. Keep walking in the light.